The main thing that differentiates Mono as a product from any other car is because it's been designed not as a means of transport, which has a focus to sporty driving. It's starting from a clean sheet and it's been designed like a piece of equipment for an extreme sport. We've always been interested in cars and there's always been a debate as we've been growing up why one car was faster than another or why one performed better than another and there was always new technology that was coming through innovation that, that, that interested us. Neil and I yearned for a car that didn't exist and what we wanted was a car that really delivered what the, what the racing cars and what the go-karts delivered because they are purely designed for that thing. The design and engineering philosophy here at BAC is always one of efficiency. Z is helping us basically because of the speed with which we can work. Unfortunately, in the past, we've, we've sometimes struggled and been compromised with the rate in which we can do things to physically have a, a computer that, that, that performs as quickly as you think, actually. It's always been a frustration of, of, of having to wait for things to happen. You know, we're a high-performing business, and to have high-performing computing solutions is absolutely what we, what we needed. Stuff that was taking seven, eight hours is taking literally seven, eight minutes now. It's, it's transformed everything, and we can do it at a much higher level as well, so the customer gets a much more photo realistic image. Z by HP was, was integral to the process that we employed. For me, leading the design department, primarily in the way that we interact with our customers. The car is made like a Savile Row suit. It's made to measure for you. So the seat's molded to you, steering wheel's molded to you. You can create a design with our design team. It's absolutely bespoke to you. And if we do that, then no one else will get that, that same scheme ever again. I am a design engineer, which encompasses designing body panels, which are composite, and also what those body panels hide, the structure of the vehicle, the chassis. Using the power of Z, it's good to be able to literally jump through, through two different CAD systems on two different computers quite seamlessly and fire data back and forth between them as well to convert it. It's proving to be a bit of a wonder for us. Z by HP starts when a customer arrives in the showroom. So when a customer has his, gets his car delivered, he gets a book with a photographic record of the whole build of his car and the design of his bespoke scheme. That's done on, on Z by HP machines. I mean, literally from the moment someone puts their foot through the door to the moment a car leaves with a book as a record of the process that the car's gone through, end to end. Typically the customers get heavily involved in how they want their car to look. Some, of course, are happier for us to take the reins on that, but it becomes an iterative process. So we'll typically provide three or four different initial ideas, then we'll get feedback, and that will carry on until we get to a final solution that everyone's happy with. We'll ask them if there is any specific interest or angles that they would like us to look at with when it comes to a livery. We also have a new process we call the BAC Livery Style Boards. So it's kind of like a mood board of images that we've collated that we feel is an interesting future trend for how car liveries could look. I spend every other week working remotely. And in the past, I had to think very carefully about what I opened on a model. If I had to interact, if the guys have made a design or a presentation, they send it to me. And I'm now trying to open the whole rear of the car on a laptop. It's, it's a struggle, whereas now with Remote Boost, I've got the opportunity. I can use the capability of my workstation here, and I don't need to worry about the machine crashing. The most exciting thing for me for our future workflow, personally, is the VR headset. So we use the HP Reverb G2. The possibility for me to sit in Germany, put on a headset and take part in a design review as if I was in the studio in the Innovation Centre. That's something I'm super excited about. It's something we're just starting to do. At BAC we've had a digital transformation in terms of the computing power that we have now and combined with our software solutions. It means that we can accelerate the innovation that we generate. As a SME that's one of our strengths. It has to be that we're an agile business. We make quick decisions. We bring new technology and innovation to market very quickly and we couldn't do that without the assistance of, of high performing computing which is in harmony with a high performing business which is what BAC is. I'm not sure that uh, the customer expects the things that we're actually delivering. They're all used to nice cars and dealing with companies that make prestigious, luxury, high performance cars. But we hear it all the time that they've never had the level of bespoking, the level of one-on-one -on -one when we say one of a kind. And it's not, just, it's not just a marketing line. So I wouldn't say that 
we're trying to meet the expectation, we're going way beyond that. And, and Z by HP is allowing us to deliver better and better cars.